Hi, this is Dory, and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations, and our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following, and welcome to our channel. Good morning from beautiful Florida and today is a huge treat for us. We get to revisit the beautiful Oliver trailers and uh, get some tours of some 2023 models. So if you want to get on that list for a new one, you can have a look at the improvements, what is different and uh, what you can expect when you buy one. So stay tuned. I'm Josh with Oliver Travel Trailers and today I'm going to show you the Elite One, our smaller unit. The Elite One is very similar to our Elite Two, um, just obviously smaller in size. We have the same Bulldog coupler hitch on the front. We have your front stabilizer jack on the trailer. You have your propane housing where it house your propane tanks. As you come around the back side, a lot of things are similar. You have your washout for your black water tank. You have your vent for the new Truma furnace. This one is also equipped with the new Truma furnace, the Vario Heat. I have a question. This yes, ma'am. This is the black tank? This is the washout for the black tank, oh, the, the black washout. water tank, uh, the washout. Okay, got it. The drain, the drain is still out the rear of the trailer, like with the Elite 2. Okay, so how does this exactly work, the washout for the black tank? You hook up your water hose. Okay. And then the water hose will just fill up into the black water tank. Okay. And then you just rinse it out through the, the drain, the and black water no drain. there's no chance of contaminating the hose with this port? No, okay. ma'am, because it's all going into the trailer. Okay, perfect. So you can use any kind of hose? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And it's not going to contaminate. Okay, great. I've never seen that before. That's really interesting. And this is actually your 30 amp con or connection. This is where when you're on shore power, this is where you'll hook up to actually charge the trailer, just like with the Elite 2. Um, the battery box is here on the rear of the trailer, whereas on the Elite 2, this area is the storage, but because of constraints, we had to use this for the actual battery box. Yeah, that's so cool. And how many amp hours is that? Um, this one is 240. That's great. And this is the port for external? Um, this, yeah, this is the port for the external solar panel. Actually, I have it set up out here just to give us some extra solar, but every one of our solar packages will actually have the solar port here on the side. You have your black water uh, drain. This is where you'll pull it out. Mm -hmm. This is the gray water. Both of these levers you pull and they, are, they actually drain out from the black water outlet that is inside of the bumper on the rear of the trailer. Amazing. And this here? This right here is your outdoor wash station or shower. Um, you have your hot water, your cold water, then you have a six foot hose. This way you can wash your feet off, wash your dogs off. Mm -hmm. Take an outdoor shower if you want to. Yeah. Right, this, this side, Jack, this is the street side. The curb side is the opposite side. And these are what control your rear stabilizer jacks to keep the trailer level. Then you also have satellite hookups, your coax cables for satellite, then also cable hookups if you wanted to do that. This is your water hookups. This is where you actually put your water in for your fresh water tank. So you'll have some water to use for a shower, for your sinks, um, your faucets and everything in the trailer. Um, that's, that's the fresh water side. The city water side, you can actually bypass the fresh water tank and have just continuous water through the trailer and not have to fill up the tank. You can just run it through the actual just plumbing like that. Oh my gosh, that's right in there. Holy. Yes, one of my favorite things is the black water drain here. Well, black water and gray water. You can leave the hose hooked up to the trailer at all times. And then when you're not using it, just roll it up, slide it in the bumper, and then just fold up yeah, your door to cover brilliant. everything up. That's brilliant. Because a, a lot of customers, they say they always hate having to unhook and hook up the actual black water hose. No kidding. All of your lighting on the trailer is LED, same as on the Elite 2. We'll have the camera on the, the backup camera on this one, the omnidirectional antenna, 
This one also has the new Truma air conditioner on it. So it is available for retrofit for both models. On the Legacy Elite one, can you have the awning on both sides as well? No, ma'am, only on this side. Uh, we've never really offered it for the back side of the trailer just because it's it really just makes it too big for the smaller trailer. Got it. The propane quick connect, okay. we have one here just inside of the bumper. There's one here and there's also one on the front of the trailer. And what's that there? This here is your port. We strictly have that design. It's just for winterization. Oh, a lot of customers on. hate the winterization process, but that's where you winterize the trailer. That's, that's all it's amazing. there for. Oh, I love it when you guys make things easy. Then on this side, this is your Truma tankless water heater. Mm -hmm. And then you have your out, this is your outdoor 110 outlet so you can plug anything up to use. We've been using it for our laptops and cell phones. I really love this table, it's genius. Yes, it's, we did it for both. Um, we had a lot of customers that ask about having some uh, table for the outdoors or outside of the trailer. And whenever we changed our refrigerator, didn't need the vent, then we made the outdoor table to cover up where the vent used to be, but it's still functional. As you can see, enjoying my coffee and doing some work. Um, in our 23 models, we've actually, uh, the size of the wheel is actually a little bit smaller. Instead of a 16 inch wheel, we went with a 15 inch. The main reason is because of availability. Um, 16 inch wheels are getting harder and harder to come by. This is a lot more accessible, but it's the same good look. We have the same size tires that we've always ran, just the sidewall is a little bit bigger because the wheel is smaller. So it's pretty, it's the same style of a, a LT tire, 10 ply. So we're using the same type of tires. The chassis on the trailer, as always, is the aircraft grade aluminum. The sub chassis is the hot dip galvanized steel which we have it there because it's more rigid for your suspension, which is gas shocks. The gas shocks and leaf springs on each wheel and tire. So that will help, even though it's a straight axle across, it'll actually help it to ride more like an independent suspension. The awning is all electric, just like on the Elite 2. Um, is a little bit smaller, obviously, because the trailer is smaller does have the wind sensor, so whenever the wind picks up, it does automatically track back in. You have a remote to control it all, LED strip along the front, so that at nighttime, you keep everything lit up so you have to see around the trailer. All of the lighting on the trailer is all LED. Your porch lights, your courtesy lights, even all the interior lights are all LED, so that way you don't have to worry about drawing a lot of power or getting hot. Nice that there's a handle there. Mm hmm And the steps are? They are all uh, half inch aluminum. A lot of your steps on our competitors, it's an afterthought. We mm -hmm. put a lot of thought into them because they're actually welded to the frame and it's all aluminum. There's no plastic on this to worry about dry riding or busting through. And with it being attached to the frame instead of the actual hole, you don't have to worry about it pulling through the floor. It's actually just gonna, the hole would fall off before the steps would come loose because it's it's attached to the frame. The doors here, you have your screen door, so on a, actually a beautiful day like today, you can shut this, close here, that way you can still have the breeze coming in and out, keep any bugs or anything like that out. And then your other door, the solid door, whenever you need to shut it, we have our hook back here to keep it open so that you don't have to worry about the wind slamming it open or shut. When you need it, just close it up. You can either get the optional keypad lock or the standard lock for the trailer. So, so this is a fun little feature. Yes. Tell me about that. Sure, so this, uh, there's actually one on the other side as well. There's two tubes and these come off of your air condition uh, condensation cups. So when the condensation builds up, Typically what you see on these type trailers is the condensation just overflows and comes down the side of the trailer Well, we didn't want that uh, we wanted to because what happens is it ends up staining the trailer So what we did was put a tube between the holes obviously double hole construction here um, That comes from the AC and the condensation drips down below the trailer instead of coming off the side of the trailer Now this you could drain the actual condensation that's between the holes as well or no? Um, no, but um, 
you know, any of that condensation that might build up in between the holes. And it's really, uh, you really don't get a lot of it because the insulation is a um, vapor barrier. But for any that does build up, right behind that, you'll see this little clamshell here, right? And there's actually about 14 of these things located underneath the trailer. There's a 5 8 inch hole drilled with a, with a screen covering it. So you don't have to worry about rodents getting in or anything like that. But at the same time, you get air ventilating through there, which obviously cuts down condensation. But any sort, like let's say you had a leak in your plumbing, uh, that water would evacuate the trailer since it is fully enclosed through one of those uh, weep holes there. So you have really no issue there at all. Um, and again, there's not, let's say you had the plumbing leak again. Not only is that water going to evacuate the trailer, but on its way out, there's nothing that it can damage because you don't have wood, carpet, things that mold and mildew and rot away. It's all fiberglass and composite material. And even the insulation is waterproof as well. So there's nothing that, you know, can go wrong. There. Let's go inside the Oliver Legacy Elite. This is the single axle. And if you've been following Oliver and you know a lot about us, you know that this is the first model that we we started to build. The uh, 18 and a half foot single axle trailer. The tandem axle didn't come until 2014. Uh, but we've been running this one uh, since our inception. And you see you got your nice dinette just like at, with the uh, big one, same setup. And this of course creates a bed as well. Um, the one difference here besides size and storage is that the bed area in the back, you have one option. You don't have the twin bed option. But this table drops down and then these cushions come together to make a near full bed here in the back of the trailer. So nice little cozy area. Uh, if you have a smaller tow vehicle, if you're a single person traveling, this is a great little unit for you. You don't necessarily need the big trailer. So yeah, nice little niche trailer for somebody who, like I said, might have a tow vehicle that can't handle the big one. Or... And this is another smart TV? Yep, same smart TV there. This one does not fold up. It's just hard mounted in the corner, and that's just because with the smaller space, we didn't want to obstruct too much of the uh, egress window there in the back. And that doesn't have to be taken down when you're No, back. not at all. It just stays stowed the whole time, yeah. Okay, great. Again, everything's pretty solid in here, so you won't have anything coming off the walls while you travel. So this is for the... That's going to be your Truma control. Just like uh, if you've been watching the video, we've got um, in the big one, we operated our air conditioner, our furnace, and our uh, water heater from that one unit there. Okay. And those are all Truma features. And this tells you your battery levels there? So, so this is my charge controller. This is going to um, be for my solar panels, okay? And it's Victron Energy, so very popular there. We had a lot of people wanting the Victron. Uh, we went from a pulse width modulation charge controller to an MPPT, which is a little more complex, but at the same time, you get a lot more use from your solar panels, a lot more of the actual um, uh, energy from the solar panels using this MPPT. Here you have the, in the Elite model, you have a 2000 watt Xantrex inverter, and that's the Freedom X. Um, so that's gonna give you the ability to run all your 110 components and outlets and stuff from battery power. Right below that, you have your sea level uh, tank monitor, sea level two, you can look at your battery voltage, you can look at your fresh water capacity in percent, and then of course your gray and your black as well. And you also have the water pump there as well. So if we're camping off grid and you wanna um, run from your fresh tank, you just turn the pump on there and you got water at your faucets and toilet. Yeah. So you got a speaker here, just like in the uh, Elite 2, you got one in each corner. You do have the reader lights with the push button lens. Um, and then of course, and that's standard. And then you have the smoke detector. That's also a CO monitor, but um, the main CO detector is actually back there uh, underneath the table all the way in the far right corner okay. on the floor there. So you do have that and then of course the fire extinguisher. So plenty of safety features. And then we have charging stations throughout. You'll see the USB in the, in the 12 volt, 110 outlets throughout. Overhead storage just like the other one, a little bit smaller but still pretty nice space to, to keep things. With the any slip? Right, you got the anti-slip mat. Same stereo head unit here from Furion. That's gonna be for your TV or if you just wanna Bluetooth some music, you can definitely do that. And the air conditioner is the Truma air conditioner. It's super quiet, right? Yeah, yeah we're actually running the uh, Truma on the Elite model as well. So we were fortunate enough to, to be able to install it on both units. And again, very popular uh, option there, so. You got your max fan just like in the Elite 2. 
Uh, like I said, most of the, the layout and the components of these things is going to be the same. It's just going to be that space difference and just the, the storage size, but, uh, and of course the floor, the, uh, bed arrangement, but, uh, down here, we'll, t we'll take a look at this, uh, your, ca your cabinetry. We looked at the, uh, drawers in the elite too. The elite has the biggest of all of our <laughs> kitchen drawers. That's this one here. So pots and pans, uh, no deep. problem there. Yeah. We got a couple of random, uh, utensils in there, but yeah, soft close feature, pop that thing closed. Very nice. And of course you got the fiber band. I like this stuff. This is fiberglass. It's made to look like granite. It's uh, fiber granite is what we call it. That's amazing. And that's I love it. I love developed. the look of that. So you got your two burner cooktop here. Um, now the one that we're showing here has these wires, uh, wire type, you know, platforms for your pots and pans. But when you buy a 2023 Oliver Travel Trailer, you will get the cast iron grate that you saw on the video before on the Elite 2. Uh, this is probably the last one that we had for that year. So we went ahead and threw it in, but we do have the cast iron grate. And then of course you have your sink here. You have your overhead faucet, a little bit different style, but it is the high arching too. So just a little bit smaller to fit the space. And same two way refrigerator down here by Isotherm. So nice feature there again, very efficient, does not have to be level. What's the capacity? 4.6 cubic feet. Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. That's really great. And the convection oven? <laughs> right, yeah. You got the my favorite. I love feature. the convection too because I like to eat baked goods. That's uh, You can probably look at me and tell, but <laughs> but no, we've got the convection oven here. So if you want to bake stuff, if you like to, to cook while you're on the road, um, of course, a lot of people do grilling outside, but if you're inside on a rainy day and you want to make some cookies, bake a little pizza, um, you know, you definitely have that capability. That's amazing. So, very I be, nice. I would be baking bread. That's oh, me too. Sure. Yeah. I love baking. You bread. gotta love the smell of fresh baked bread. That's yeah, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> me too. You have the full length mirror for the bathroom door. You open the bathroom door up and you go in. You do have um, the composting toilet, your fiber granite sink uh, countertop there, and then of course um, your mirror here. Same with the same with the faucet. You can see in this. Uh, model we've got it down in the sink way, but before we had it up here uh, for the shower head And of course you can opt for the shower track uh, with the curtain as well And again the hose to vent any smells and also to aerate right right absolutely and that's secured in there pretty well. Oh, yeah right. Yeah, the and fit and finish a... of these things everything the fitment on everything in this thing is just incredible I mean yeah closet here as well. It's a little bit smaller than the elite oh. two obviously, but mm -hmm. Um, at the same time, you know, and it's lit, you got a light there as well, but plenty of space for, like I said, this is, this trailer here, even though I have seen, uh, you know, couples get this trailer, a lot of times it's a single person or somebody who just has a little Toyota Tacoma or something like that, where they're not, uh, you know, capable of towing the Elite too. So they'll opt for the Elite and still get all the same quality fit and finish and comforts just a little bit smaller. So this could be towed by a Tacoma. Oh yeah, absolutely. You're kidding me. No, I, I kid you not. <laughs> really? Yeah. That is amazing. What's the weight on this? So the weight on this is going to be 3,800 pounds dry. Um, we, we, we recommend that you have something that can pull the fully loaded weight, which is 5,000 pounds. So uh, you can throw enough gear in here. Again, if it's 3,800 pounds, that's uh, 1,200 pounds of potential cargo capacity that you can put in here safely. So wow. you'll probably never do that unless you're just a... a a pack rat, I guess. Wonderful. <laughs> and here it's all the lights, so master lights. Yeah, the master is really cool because, like, let's say I'm heading out for the night, oh, yeah. and I don't want to go around and turn each individual light off. Yeah. I can hit the master and just head on out. So that's great. And as you see here, you know, we are a, a very young company. Uh, we're very limited. We don't build a lot of these things. This is a you know 300, 350 a year uh, operation. And we this is brand new, 2023 model, and it's hold 1228. So that means this is the 1228th trailer we've ever built. I really love that you guys are doing Probably that Probably made in Holmwell, Tennessee. We love it. Yeah, I love that. Great. <laughs> well, thank you so much of course. for your time and for of showing course. us this Always a pleasure beautiful seeing you guys. trailer. The Smolliver. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice term. I like that. The Smolliver. <laughs>